Welcome back, another episode, Chicago Police Department Season 12 Episode 4, Voight Revives Grief and Loneliness After Losing Camille. In order to balance cases and many of the other unit members, Chicago PD Season 12 has so far done a good job at examining its personalities in a few episodes. As soon as Chicago PD Season 12 Episode 4 began, the attention turned to Voight, and we watched him deal with the sadness that surfaced when water damage almost destroyed everything Camille owned. Voight has never gone over his grief for his wife, as evidenced by the fact that he still possesses a large number of Camille's possessions. He still struggles greatly with Camille's passing, and it has greatly impacted his demeanor over the time we've known him. Even though it was awkward for Nina to make such candid remarks about Voight during a stakeout, she is correct when she acknowledges how hard it is to imagine Voight as a person. We're discovering new perspectives on Voight in Season 12 of Chicago Police. For as long as we've known him, he's been a lone wolf, attempting to keep everyone at bay and preserving some emotional space, even from those closest to him. Voight has obviously never loved in the same way, and for as long as the show has been on, we have come to terms with that aspect of him. Even though we've learned a lot about Voight over the years, it's intriguing that the show chose to focus on this specific aspect of him. On Chicago PD Season 12 Episode 4, Voight's desire to make amends is sparked by a rape case. He still has an instinctive desire to keep others out, but he has also started talking to many others about how much he cares. But it's nothing compared to what he's created with Chapman, regardless of how frantic he sounds when he thinks one of his intelligences is in trouble or how frequently he makes the mistake of addressing someone by their first name. It was evident that the second Nina would be fully committed to this case and cooperate closely with intelligence when she rode a shotgun with Voight to a crime site. Nina Chapman was a wonderful asset and a welcome change. Realizing that the woman most likely didn't feel at ease with men following what had occurred to her, she intervened right away. Her demeanor was similar to Torres's tactful demeanor and request for authorization during his work on a rape case the previous season. The other element was discovering that this case was related to an unresolved one from Voight's past during a particularly trying period in his life, but Nina's presence throughout that circumstance demonstrated her commitment to the case throughout. You can't blame Nina for being so anxious to delve deeper into Voight's life in order to discover more about him, but it was also quite daring of her to do so considering how mysterious he is. Nina's desire to see this through was also influenced by her encounter with Suzanne who believed she was the final victim of this monster. Ruddy appeared as well and contributed significantly to the case. The female's viewpoint was valued because Burgess was present but not truly. Nina demonstrated that she isn't scared to defy the law in order to further the common good in a situation like this. When she obtained the warrant under false pretenses, she took shortcuts that, hopefully, won't affect her or Voight later. Two criminals resulted in an upsetting case. Penn was ill, and Hogan was also ill for helping him. Penn used Hogan as a new way to satisfy his wants, but even his illness was insufficient to stop him from attacking women once more. Nina expresses her emotions openly for Void at Chicago Police Department Season 12 Episode 4. It was shocking when Nina revealed her love for Void, despite the fact that their relationship had been developing throughout this installment, and that she had been disclosing more and more information that hinted at her hand. In true Nina Chapman flair, she told Void about himself in a straightforward and somewhat fierce manner, accepting with assurance that they don't need to bring it up again. She is correct that Void actually finds it difficult to accept care from others, which reflects his initial lack of self-worth. For more videos, subscribe.